Welcome to this video guys, we are going to be reviewing the Edexcel GCSE Maths Paper, Paper 2, that has just taken place this morning. We've just been given the papers and we've had a brief look through both of the papers. So, yeah. you know, you've had a look through the higher and the foundation. What did you think? We, we want to answer these questions. A, did they match um, the advanced specification, the advanced information that was given? Did they match them well? Was the paper uh, difficult? Was it easy? You know, where was the level? Where would you pitch it? Were there any worded or tricky questions that came up? And can students out there, uh, and particularly your own students, of course, as well, can they get a decent mark from here? You know, especially given the two nightmare questions that we had on paper one for the hire and looking forward to paper three. All right. So we both had a look. Yeah. What did you think? Compared to the first paper, I would say that this is much, much, much nicer. Like the questions were doable. It's like most of the, all the questions you actually just use the maths you've learned and apply them. There wasn't, I wouldn't say there wasn't much of any tricky questions. You know what? I'll tell you something, yeah? I think these guys at Excel did an did, did, did amazing job yeah. on this, guys. For especially given, you know, um, the, the, the last two years, they've made a paper that students will love. Yeah. We love. I, mean, I had I had um, one of my students, middle ability, aiming for grade four, maybe grade five, coming at that exam and saying, "Sir, I loved it. It was fantastic." And to see that happiness on that face, I was like, "Wow!" I go, "What did you do?" I go, "They said, by the way, they went through uh, the predicted paper that I had on the channel. They said, sir, all the questions were coming up. I had messages uh, sent in to me as well from other students from out there saying." Oh my God, identical question, it's amazing, it's amazing. Literally everything came up. So I was so happy about that. Uh, foundation as well, similar thing. I know I'd had the foundation people come up late, but I remember doing these questions and they came up. So I thought it was great. Was there any particular question that you thought might throw a few people off? Well, it depends on the set, but with my set threes, obviously... When so sets are different. So what are they aiming for? What kind of target grade? Uh, grade, grade five. Grade so, five. Some will be getting six, isn't it? Yeah, some yeah. of them will be getting six. Um, what would, uh, what would the they find? The thing is, most of it, I think they need all the questions they can at least access and get one or two marks here That's and there. That's important. They, you can access. I feel that everyone doing the higher tier should be able to access every single question. Definitely. You might not get the full marks. Yeah, some of the lower ability kids, you might not get the full marks, but you should definitely be able to get a mark here and there. You should at least know where to start. Yes, let's take this uh, circle theorem 20. We can't go through any questions in detail, but we can just give you the skills that's required or the, uh, you know, the method that yeah. you'll use. Just, let's discuss I mean, number 20. So this is question 20. Hopefully you can see that. Well, circle theorems is, is usually when they have a question regarding the angle in the same segment theorem, and that can be quite quite tricky. But this is a nice one. They giving you an angle at the center. You can work out the angle at the circumference using that theorem. Which is half of that, yeah. Yeah, and then use a cyclic quad cyclic quadrilateral, which work is out the opposite. Yeah, yeah, the opposite. And then you've got a straight line. And that, that gives you the two of the angles in a triangle and you work at the third one. That's it, yeah. So nice yeah, and straightforward. I, that's, that's a lovely, I think that's a lovely question. Um, what about question number, uh, the last one, 22? Uh, you've got quadratic inequalities. Well, if they, if, you know, if they know how to solve a quadratic inequality... Well, well, Factorise it. Yeah, then yeah. There's, there's a two of them. You do them both. And then Separately, show individually. Them, show them the number line, find the overlap. Find the it. overlap, fantastic. At least if they can do solve both inequalities, that's like maybe probably four marks already. Yeah. Yeah. So out, out of the five, and then the fifth one... Five marks overlap. for the last question. I mean, that's yeah. a lovely la last question too. Sandwich in between, question 21... We haven't had a tan come up for a while. Yeah, the I mean, it's usually the sign and cause. Um, but they've given you the sketch of the tan graph. So that's one thing, you know, uh, would say we should make it easier. Yeah. Cause, um, and they just, is it translation? Yeah. yeah. So all you have to know is. But look at the number happens. of marks, two marks. Yeah. yeah? Guess it's that's not. another thing, which means, I mean, if you look at question 21, they only gave three marks for it. Why is it that exam questions sometimes are so difficult? Or, well, this is not difficult, but generally, if they are, sometimes questions are so difficult, but. They don't give many marks for that. I think it's, it's, it's more designed for the upper end. So the ones who are just a few marks away from maybe grade eight, grade nine. So they obviously need to Stretching get... Stretching them. Exactly. By the same time, not jeopardising everyone else's overall mark, making yeah. sure that they get a decent mark. I love this paper. I don't think there was any worded, tricky questions on there that will throw people off. Um, you know, looking through this one was fantastic. 
Um, you know, it, it was an excellent paper. Even even the the advanced trig formula one, like you can see. Which like, one is that? Number eighteen. Number eighteen. Like, yeah, you, you use a cosine rule, mm. and then you get one of the sides, and then you use a sine rule, and it's it's a straightforward cosine and sine. It's not no. that way you have to in, in a tricky one. You? I love this. I love this paper. Let's quickly give something for the foundation as well, because um, you know a lot of them will be watching. They might have found question 28 quite difficult simultaneously. You no, know, it's a bit unfortunate. 28, which was a simultaneous uh, equation, usually the, some of the foundation questions obviously appear on the higher. But this one didn't appear. I think that would have been a lovely one to test uh, the higher one on, but I suppose it wasn't on the advanced um, information on the paper two, so they didn't keep it there for the higher. But I think... I think question 20, 24 on was a little bit tricky, but then that's 24 one. So you're saying question four. 24 to 28. Last, last five questions. Last five questions, 24 to 28 uh, on the foundation tier would be tricky. But how many marks is that really? I mean, you've got five, four, uh, nine, 10, 11, 12, plus that 16, uh, plus three, 19 marks. And 19 marks taken out of that 80, let's just say, worst case scenario. 61 marks. 61 marks left, 61 out of um, 80, what are we got? Between about 70, just above 75%. 75%, I mean, that's good enough to get a grade six. I mean, Definitely. grade six, you can't even get a grade six. <laughs> that's good enough to get a grade five. Yeah, the maximum grade possible. Yeah, yeah. I, I think, so, you know, you guys, you had a good paper. Yeah, on to the next mm. one. So this paper, guys, from us, double thumbs up, yeah? Look forward to the next one. Uh, practice paper free, which is on the channel. Uh, I'll have the foundation paper free ready as well because it's not up there yet, uh, but I'll be doing it. Yeah. All the best with the next one. Yeah. Bye okay. for now.